let's now observe the reflection through three different types of mirrors as such mirrors can be classified into two plane mirrors and spherical mirrors in again spherical mirrors there are two categories one is convex mirror the other one is concave mirror so in the very first setup of demonstration i have kept here the plane mirror so this is the plane mirror now you can see a laser ray is focused on to it and then this is incident ray and this is reflected ray so you can observe very well the angle between the normal this is the normal so angle between the normal and incident ray is called angle of incidence here i have adjusted it somewhere around some 5 to 6 degrees now if uh, if you observe this one whatever the angle that is formed between the normal and the incident ray is equal to the angle between the reflected ray and the normal so this is one of the laws of laws of reflection okay so this laws of reflection are also valid for spherical mirrors now let us see in place of plane mirror now let us see suppose multiple rays so if i keep many rays you can observe that all the rays are being reflected let us see it in the dark so you can see that all rays are getting reflected now in place of this plane mirror if i use a mirror like this so this is diverging the rays so here this is convex surface of the mirror so this convex surface is diverging all the rays in the convex convex mirrors you cannot see the real images now in place of this convex surface if i keep this concave these are all inward so if i keep like this the rays are meeting at one particular point so you can see that you can see clearly that the rays are being converged at this point so this is the focus for this one so concave mirrors will have real focus and convex mirrors will have virtual focus so concave mirrors gives real images because all the rays after getting reflected they are meeting at a point so that is even the rays are meeting at one particular point that is the focus and it is called real focus whereas if you observe the other nature of this one that is uh, convex mirror all the rays when they are extended backwards suppose if i extend all these rays then they will be meeting somewhere here so that is called virtual focus so here we have tested three now the very simple thing is that your spoon can be acting like both convex and concave so now i kept that concave side inward so you can see me in the inverted image in the inverted position you are looking at me in the inverted now if i rotate it then you can see that i am in erect position so this side is outward that is convex all convex uh, mirrors will give the erect images now if i reverse it so you can see me that i am being inverted inside the mirror so real images are inverted and virtual images are erect so this is the explanation for the formation of images with the mirrors